right, welcome to my channel. Or, if you're already familiar with my channel, welcome back to a lovely new vlog. Before I begin, though, grab a pen, pencil, paper, notebook, notepad, or anything that you can just jot some stuff down just in case you hear something you may like that you might want to further research later. Because don't you hate having to go back and rewatch a vlog? I mean, seriously. Well, this specific vlog is going to discuss the budget location of the soulful city of Memphis in the fabulous state of Tennessee. When you think of Memphis, well, when I personally think of Memphis, I think of great music and good food. But, you know, with every trip, you tend to be exposed to the culture of that city or town. Many musical greats are tied to Tennessee, from B.B. King to Elvis Presley to even the amazingly delicious Justin Timberlake. All you need is guess how many days. Only three. Three full days to just be engulfed in Memphis, Tennessee culture. As you plan from how you get there to where you stay to what you do, start planning to set your budget. Your budget depends on you and your preferences and your travel party. This vlog is going to just expose you to some key places, in my opinion, interesting thrifty mussies of Memphis, Tennessee. But, as I always say, because I'm just, as I say it, I'm partial to Airbnbs. If you want to know why, research or explore my channel for my Airbnb vlog. I'm not going to exactly say why, but I just feel like Airbnbs are so cost effective. And they're so flexible to different travel preferences and travel parties. Because tell, tell me if I'm lying. Because honestly, if you have like five people in your party and trying to find a hotel room that accommodates that size, you either end up getting two rooms or someone sleep on a sofa bed. Then you got to flip coins on who's going to sleep on a sofa bed and yada, yada, yada. Where on Airbnb, you can just rent an entire place. Or if it's just you and one person, instead of getting a whole thousand dollar, a hundred dollar um, hotel room, you can just rent a room out of a better breakfast for like $50 a night. Think about it, people. All I gotta say is I'm not gonna tell you how to travel, but research it and you might like what you see. That's all I'm saying. Memphis is a city on the Mississippi River that is filled with music landmarks. A great way to see landmarks and learn about the um, any city is through museums and tours. One lovely tour company is Rock and Ride Tours. This private company provides a private ride in a classic convertible to tour the famous landmarks and hidden gems of Memphis. Within the two hours, you and an additional three passengers for a total of $275, which is only $92 each person, can go back in time and inhabit a world that changed history. Like, think about it, people. You can sit there and be on a private tour, just you and your friends or you and your family or ho whoever your travel party includes, and you can see the sights without having to worry about people stepping into your pictures, stepping into your clips, listening to good music that just takes you back in time with an awesome, awesome travel travel um, guide who's well knowledgeable, who lives there, who knows all the hidden gems, knows where to go. You don't have to worry about anything. Just hop in the car with your friends, just you guys secluded and just being exposed to the beautiful city of Memphis. I mean, hey, if you don't mind, you know, multiple people and all that, then hey, by all means, um, I will show you another travel uh, tour company. But I just personally... I've done the walking, I've done the other ones, and I just think it's really cool to be in a classic car, you know, hearing about history, you know, really being taken back in time. And then plus, you know, the guy is so, uh, the tour guy is so awesome. He takes pictures for you. You don't have to worry about, oh, selfie stick, selfie stick, or tripods. He'll, you know, he'll stop what he's doing and take a picture before moving on to the next location. And it's with a two hour um, time, you're not rushed. But... If you find that too pricey, ninety dollars per person, two seventy five, um, Backbeat Tours. This company for only thirty dollars will take you on a ninety minute tour that provides musical, um, that provides m music, um, along with a tour of the historic Memphis. They have musicians that actually will entertain you while you travel the streets of Memphis in a beautiful nostalgic bus that you see. So, I mean, what can go wrong with that? And they also, they also offer affordable other affordable tours. So that's one of the things you can research later. 
And then the King, Elvis Presley. You can't go to um, Memphis without hearing about Elvis. Graceland Mansion is simply Elvis Presley's home. Fully immerse yourself in Elvis's life career like never before at his Memphis home. For only $48 for adults, $21.75 for children, you get to explore for about two hours. About. Sun Studio is a recording studio opened by rock and roll pioneer Sam Phillips in the 1950s. For 45 minutes, you are guided on a tour filled with um, inside tours of leg inside stories, I mean, of legends and priceless memorabilia. Yeah. Memorabilia that you can honestly just really just take in the fact that you are standing where legends like Ike Turner and Elvis Presley and just all these people recorded some of the your maybe your favorite um records you get to actually see where it happens and for adults it is only fifteen dollars students are only 13 and kids from 5 to 11 years old are free so you can sit there and have 45 minutes of people retelling some stories that you've never even heard before about incidents that you know many people didn't get the privy to know because one they weren't there that's the beauty of um museums or places like this that have you know passed on great stories from word of mouth or even from written and they get to retell it in a way that you know you have never been exposed to before i mean you can research and research and research but honestly the most intimate um details and information that you can um learn about someone is from someone who was there during that time and that's the beauty of this place. Bill Street is the most iconic street with over 25 clubs and shops to choose from. And it has something to literally offer everyone. So if you're into that nightlife with lights and just, you know, music and fun and people and just, you know, <laughs> less of a better word, chaos, then go see the amazing Bill Street. I mean, even if you don't like chaos, I mean, just to go for a little bit wouldn't hurt, would it? Something more low-key is Overton Square. It's like Bill Street. It has a more calm, you know, atmosphere for exploring. It is a revitalized neighborhood destination for food and fun in the heart of Midtown Memphis. So... If you're into the nightlife or into just shopping centers and funky shops and all that fun stuff, but it's less chaotic and more calm, then I suggest, honestly, Overton Square. Another lovely place to maybe explore is the I Am a Man Monument. This exhibit explains... Ex ah, this exhibit displays, excuse me, the dignity of the sanitation workers in their push for proper treatment. So... Back in the 1960s, you know, amongst all the civil rights, a lot of workers were honestly fighting for the right to be treated more humanely. And this beautiful monument, I prefer to see at night, displays that. So I always say check it out. Um, another place to take a lovely delicious break is Jerry's Snow Cones. It is an awesome place to take a break with shaved ice and soft serve ice cream, especially on those hot summer days when you're exploring. Why not take a break somewhere where you can be served um, a lovely treat in many flavors and combinations. I mean, honestly, this is like the place for a sweet treat in Memphis. So it wouldn't hurt to get a nice cool down break <laughs> there um moving along broad avenue i am a big person on um art districts so um i feel like art districts are always filled with the more culturesque i guess you could say of any town so anytime i travel somewhere i always um try to explore that city's art district because i don't know it just seems more local filled um one place to check out is the liquor store i love this place because of the title everyone when you think of a liquor store you think of liquor but it is a stylized retro diner featuring a variety of comfort foods including breakfast all day and a full bar so many people say oh let's go to the liquor store you think oh let's go buy liquor no you you can honestly say we're going to the liquor store but you're really going to have Delicious food. I mean, I just find that to be super cute. <laughs> um, another place that's cool um, in Memphis is the Peabody. 
Um, the Peabody is a, actually a hotel. It's an amazing place to stay, or you can go there just to visit. Um, you can check out its resident flock of ducks, which I find cute, um, especially during their feeding time um, at the fountain. They actually march down from the uh, along this red carpet and they feed them. You can even do their chic dining or, you know, chill at their um, cute pool and spa. Now, the National Civil Rights Museum at the Lorraine Motel explores the history of the civil rights movement, and it touches on its, imp its impact on our culture today. Adults are only 15 and children only $14. That does not hurt, especially just to basically be privileged enough to stand in the place where um, the, the legendary Martin Luther King lost his life. I mean, that alone should be a reason why you should go visit that um, awesome museum. Um, the Stax Museum is a replica recording studio that includes exhibits that tell the story of Stax records and the origins of soul music. A lot of people don't really know um, where soul music come from. I mean, a lot of people don't even know of soul music. But for um, only $13 for adults and $10 for kiddos, you can really actually learn about where soulful music got its origins from, why it is um, the music's format and the way that it is and its meaning behind it. Many people don't understand or even know um, that a lot of soulful music's origin came from gospel. Like some people, you know, actually think that genres are like separate not realizing that all music genres kind of intertwine and come from the same roots so if you're into music it would not hurt to go to the stacks museum especially because it's only 13 dollars like and then you get to learn so much about music as it's tied to history as it's tied to legends because you know every musical legend got inspired by someone got inspired by something so why not you know just take a break and it's air conditioned as well <laughs> take a break and just enjoy music and just let yourself unwind if you're into walking and hiking then why not you know take an awesome break from museums and monuments and stuff like that and walk to arkansas on the big river crossing I mean, if I remember correctly, it's about a mile walk, um, and the fact that it has a nice pedestrian bridge, I mean, I'm into cool stuff like that where you can technically be in two places at one time. So if you're nerdy like that, check out the big river crossing. Um, Orpheum. Now, sometimes, you know, when you travel, you might want to add a play or a show or a concert into the mix, and then the Orpheum Theater is Famous. When you go to Memphis and you say, oh, hey, I'm going to the Orpheum Theater, people instantly know what you're talking about, just like, you know, the Apollo Theater. So that price depends on what you're going to go see. I mean, if you just want to take pictures in front of it and say you've been there, then it's free. But with that, um, I hope I've shed some budget-friendly and thrifty-friendly um, information that kind of has you seeing Memphis in a different light. I mean, a lot of people, when they hear about Tennessee, they instantly think of Nashville. Um, I personally don't think Memphis gets its um, deserved amount of credit of being a great budget location. A lot of people instantly, when they think of traveling, say, oh, let's go to Nashville or New York or Orlando. Why not go to Memphis? I mean, if you have a three-day weekend and, you know, some cash saved up and you have some buddies that, you know our awesome travel buddies, why not have a cute little family trip to go learn about music go, or, you know, go sit there and learn about civil rights or just explore art and food and music all in one. You know, it doesn't hurt. But I always say, you know, before you say no, research it, look at your money, look at your funds, look at your cash flow, and make the decision. I mean, $20 per paycheck can add up. You never know. Airbnbs are so cheap nowadays that it's reasonable. Flights and buses and road trips, it can all be worthwhile if you just set your mind to it, write it down, set a plan, and just commit. You won't be sorry, and it'll be a nice break from your routine. So, I hope that pen and paper have, you know, 
helped you out. I hope it's full of ideas and I hope it inspires you to even after watching this lovely, lovely vlog that inspires you just to pause it, stop it and just continue to research. Maybe even, you know, call a friend and say, hey, why don't we go to Memphis or call a family member and say, hey, let's go to Memphis. The flights are only this cheap or the bus fare is only this cheap. The train ride's only this short. We have a three-day weekend coming up. Why not go? We could take a red eye and get there in the morning and just go explore. Yes, we can drop off the kids at grandma's or aunties or cousins. Let's just go. We can do it with our tax refund or our jobs bonus. Let's just go. Because, yes, you can buy, you know, couches and big TVs, but memories are a lifetime.